Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you don't know who I'm already, my name is Nick Barden. I cover the Toronto Marlies for the Leafs Nation, and in today's video, we're going to talk about why Eric Schalgren was the goalie to get called up to the Toronto Maple Leafs and play in that crazy game on Thursday night. Just before we do get into the video though, if you do enjoy the Marlies content, please make sure to leave a like, please make sure to subscribe as well, it helps a lot. And let me know in the comment section down below what type of videos you'd like to see me do next on the Marlies and if there's any particular player you'd like to see me cover individually in a video. Before I do get into why I think Schalgren was called up, I want to go back to the game a little bit. He stopped 10 of 11 shots. He actually played pretty good for a guy who probably didn't think that entire day that he was going to get into an NHL game. He even said after the game that he doesn't even know if his parents were awake to watch him because they were in Sweden. So I, I think it's so interesting and it's really cool that for one, he got into an NHL game just because I've been covering the Marlies and you see that growth a little bit. And two, just for him to come into a game like that, a situation like that and play really well. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for them, but he did make a big save in overtime that I thought really helped the Leafs send Nylander on the breakaway going the other way. And unfortunately he couldn't finish it off but I, I, that's what happens sometimes. Now you're probably like, Nick, tell us why he was the one that got called up over Joseph Wool or Michael Hutchinson. And I'm gonna say this, there are a lot of people who will look at Eric Shulgren's numbers at a 904 save percentage in the AHL, and they'll think that is not good enough to be an NHL goaltender. And in reality, it's not. But there are a few things that really helped him get that save percentage. It wasn't just his bad play. There there was instances where the Marlies would have too many penalties. I think in the last three games that Schalgren has played in with the Marlies, the team has given up 15 to 20 penalties. And when that happens in games, you're gonna have penalty killers on the ice a lot. They're gonna be tired and in turn, that's gonna make Schalgren play a lot more and just be active a lot more and that's gonna make him tired which ends in a result of pucks going into the back of the net and then his save percentage going down because of it now it's not the only reason he's had a rough stretch as of late and he hasn't really been playing up to the way he played at the beginning of the ahl season but i i don't think it's just the fact that he's been bad it's the fact that the marley's have not been the best defensively in front of him. They've given up penalties, and both of those things will help along with his bad play to make it even worse. But why did he get called up? Yes, the reason he got called up was the fact that Joseph Wool has already had a chance in the NHL level. They already got to see him, the Leafs got to see him and what he could provide there if they ever needed. And Michael Hutchinson, same thing, but they already know what Michael Hutchinson can bring to the NHL level. So it was time to see what Eric Schalgren could bring. And there was no sense that I don't think that it would have been Wool, it would have been Hutchinson. I think this was the time to allow Schalgren to A, get out of a rhythm of playing so much and, and just getting a chance to go to the NHL and sit up there and allow him to gain his confidence back, allow him to be a better goaltender when he comes back down, and I think that's what does it. Now, I did not think that he would get into an NHL game on Thursday, and I also did not think that we would be talking after the game about whether or not Mrazek or Shalgren should start on Sunday in the Heritage Classic between the Leafs and the Sabres. And now, obviously, we know it's going to be Mrazek, but that would have been a treat to see Shalgren under the bright lights in Tim Horton's field playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs, his second game outdoors. That's That's got to be crazy, but it, it is going to be Mrazek. That's going to be a game that really decides the future of Mrazek's career with the Maple Leafs, in my opinion. And you never know, maybe Shalgren does get into a game. Like, we've seen it before. It could happen. But yes, the reason why Shalgren was the one who got called up was just because they haven't seen him at the NHL level yet. He showed he's had good numbers. He won a Swedish Hockey League championship last season in Sweden. He had a great save percentage in the playoffs there. A great save percentage with the Marlies. A little bit of a choppy window after the COVID break where it, it seemed like he was getting good games and then bad. It was a little inconsistent, but now allowing him again to come up to the Leafs, get his mind off the AHL level a little bit and just focus on just a day-to-day -day in the NHL will help him a lot. And, and I think him going to 
the Heritage Classic in Hamilton is also going to help him a lot just to see what it's like to be in the NHL and be a regular NHL player. And I think that as well, in turn, it's going to motivate him to get to that next level, to get to that point. I did want to mention the fact that Shalgren is a lot different than Hutchinson and Wool. Hutchinson is a little bit more joking around. He's he's a good goalie, but the personality isn't the way of Shalgren. Wool provides a lot of athleticism, and that's really where he shines in his game is making those highlight reel saves and he's he's a good goaltender as well Shalgren though is he's sort of when I look at it sort of like Frederick Anderson when you remember back to him he was very calm at all times he he seemed the, the word is stoic it seems like he's on another level at all times and his play might not show it at all times but the way he carries himself on and off the ice again very calm very stoic, and I, I think this is a great opportunity to show at the NHL level, show Kyle Dubas, show Sheldon Keefe, show the Leafs and Marlies what kind of goalie he can be and what he's capable of if he does get another chance at the NHL level. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below about the Mrazic situation and whether or not you think Shalgren will get into another game and whether or not you thought he should have got the chance to play and start in the Heritage Classic on Sunday. And also let me know, like I said earlier, about whether or not you'd like to see any specific Marlies players. I can do a focused video on one of them all you got to do is comment down below and I can do that for you. That is though my opinion on why Shalgren was called up. Let me know what you think about it again in the comment section down below. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps a lot in terms of me making more content. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Comment down below if you want to see any other potential Marlies players going up to the Leafs or whatever you want to see in the comments. But we'll see you in the next video.